Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and for the one I'm doing it for, I've got to get rid of your text because it I didn't have that text, so it would replace it with a really thick text. And it can't really do anything with it anyway. But what his problem is, he can't fill in this part of the radioactive with the fill tool like that one is. So what we're gonna do is I always do it, I put a rectangle. And he's got his rectangle set on fill. I'm gonna take the fill away. And I'm gonna also change your nudge factor how big this is. A little over two inches, so we're gonna change the nudge factor to 2.5. And while we're out here, I don't need to do this, but please set your duplicate distance at zero. It'll help you out in the long run. So let's look at this. There's one of the problem. There's more than one line. One, two, three. There are four lines there. So we'll get, get rid of those four lines just by hitting delete. Now we're going to nudge this over so we can look at the other lines. And also you can see there's a lot of trash in your drawing. Might be covered up by the text, it might not, but this trash is going to do you no good. So you need to kind of look at that. Now I'm going to take this line right here and it's a half a point. So I'm going to change it to a hairline just so it'll match up the other lines. And I'm going to try to smart fill this. So I'm going to take a rectangle because we've nudged it. We can nudge it right back. That's a little irritating. Uh, take your smart fill tool and fill that in, and it worked right off the bat. That was because of the double line. So what you do is just take your smart fill tool, fill that in, make it black. Mine just happened to be set on gray, and then you nudge it over, and it's right back where it needs to be. <clears throat> and I don't know whether you need, you know, these. Uh, sorry about that. If you need these other parts. Uh, but you can always nudge them right back. So, same thing on the bottom. Let's put those back. Let's move these to the left. One, two, three, four lines again. So let's do the exact same thing. I'm going to move my rectangle over here in case I have a leak. So whenever you have multiple items like that, uh, it just doesn't work. And see all the trash? I mean, I don't understand. So I'm going to change this line to a hairline. It just makes it easier if there is a leak, come on, to uh, notice it and find it. Take the smart fill tool and fill it in, and voila, there's really no leaks. It's just double line. There was actually a leak or a possible leak right there, but I guess it's good enough that if you ever see that situation, Grab your shape tool, grab that line, hold down the shift key, and grab that one, and then select both those nodes, go to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves, and that ought to be good enough. So we've still got some other parts of the graphic. You really probably don't need these lines with the exception of uh, where the text is going to fill in. So that's a, the exact same thing you had, but now you've got the radioactive. And if you see these lines aren't joined, that's not, um, you know, you need to join those lines and make them. Um, let's just move this out of the way for a second. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. See, there's two lines of that. Don't need but one. There's two lines, that there's another line. Okay, we got rid of all those lines. There's two li There's four lines of everything. So I'm just hitting delete till my lines are gone, then I'm gonna nudge it over. Then I'm gonna nudge over my smart fill. And you don't really need these inner lines, possibly. You know, you might need it for the, the text or something. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna move some of this stuff 
to the left and all my trash came with it, or almost all my trash came with it. There's still some trash in there. But whenever you grab something and it grabs all the trash, you've got to go to object and break the curve apart. And then you should be able to move this right back without the trash. But see, we still have broken lines. And there are 17 pieces of trash in there that you just got rid of in the blink of an eye. Now there's still some trash in there and probably the best way to do it would be to look at the you know, shape tool and see, there's not only trash, there's copies of more than one trash, just like in the line. That could be a result from a, um, you know, he made duplicates and forgot he had so many duplicates. But you really need to make these lines all the same length. So you could grab that line, go down and make it a hairline. Now, I don't know what, what he needs, size he needs to make it. Look at that. So what you need to do is just back up, hit delete, delete, delete. And that one comes back. Then you need to make that a hairline. <clears throat> and I think everything else is fine. I think this is a contour around his letter. So he might have to kind of, uh, well, he'll have the letters uh, that should work for him. You could quite possibly take all these and after you get rid of the, well, I hate to weld it because now it's going to be, even the trash is going to be welded. So let's back up here before it was welded. And let's see if we can't break the curve apart and then just grab our line, left click, left click, left click. Because we broke the curve apart, there are 33 pieces of trash, just hit delete. Now you could take these and see seven objects is what we move and weld it. And now it's all one piece and when you can move it back and forth. Now I changed some of your lines to hairline and you wanna make sure you're not cutting it out. Like that's a half a point. And it's also, I don't know if it's an engraver or printer, it could set on CMYK. So just make sure that you don't even hear lines if you're cutting this out. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.